Just remember screaming, kind of falling to the floor. In most grief groups, we do not talk about those suicidal thoughts that happen after loss. I'm not okay that my husband's dead. Like she wants to go into the casket with him and just lay there. I don't want to live, I don't want to do this, I don't want to be here. I'm not really any good to myself, I'm not really any good to my family or friends, and I'm not really any good to this world. The shovel's always going to be in the background. It's always an option. When those moments come that you feel challenged, that you might even feel despair. I'm mad that this is my story, but I'm not going anywhere. You declare in yourself, I'm not gonna die. Lord, I'm not going anywhere, and I know the reason I'm not going anywhere is because you're holding me, and you're keeping me, and you're guiding me. If you were on this planet, there is a purpose for you. Life will be worth living. God has a purpose for you. I think the grief has made me a better person. My secret weapon was my Southern Baptist mom who had prayed for me. You need to find those anchors. Friends, your neighbors, the people that are safe, uh, surround, get surrounded by them. You can do this. Just take another wise step.